Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we are checking out the B-Link GTI 10 Intel Mini PC. We will unbox and demo it and run some benchmarks to see how well it performs. Let's start with the unboxing. In the very posh box we first have the user manual which is in English, German, Spanish, Italian, French, Russian and Chinese. There is a user guide on how to install the memory and an internal 2.5 inch SATA R drive or SSD. We have a very shiny B-Link GTI 10 which we will show in more detail shortly. Underneath the packaging is the power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. There are two HDMI cables. One is full length and the other is quite short which could be used if wall mounting behind your TV. There is a SATA connector and parts for installing the R drive or SSD. And last but not least is a wall mount and screws for saving more space on your desktop. On the front is the power button along with a button to clear the CMOS if required. Beside these are two USB 3.0 ports. There is a 3.5mm headphone port and a USB Type-C port. On the top of the case is a fingerprint recognition scanner for added security. The GTI 10 measures 6.6 by 4.4 by 1.57 inches and weighs 720 grams. There are two 1 gig Ethernet ports for fast data transfer. There is a HDMI and display port for dual monitor setups or using the additional USB Type-C and supported monitor, you can have triple monitor support. There are two more USB version 3.0 ports and two USB 2 ports. For wireless connectivity, there is a 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. The B-Link GTI 10 features the 10th generation Intel i3-1005 G1 processor which has two cores and four threads. Its base frequency is 1.2 GHz and the turbo frequency is 3.4 GHz. It runs on the 10th generation Intel UHD graphics with a turbo frequency of 900 MHz and supports DirectX 12. For the RAM and storage there are two configurations. There's 8GB of DDR RAM and 256GB of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD and 16GB of DDR4 RAM and 512GB of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. The mini PC comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Professional and a fully activated Windows license. This will give you all the latest updates to download and install. As you would expect, day-to-day -day tasks such as web browsing are fast and smooth. You have full access to the Microsoft Store for installing and updating your software. The following benchmarks test the GTI 10 in different ways to provide information on stress tests, processor, memory and disk performance, as well as daily tasks such as web browsing, office work and entertainment. The video may be sped up in places as some tests can take several minutes to complete. Passmark provides an overview of a multitude of tests including processor, graphics, memory and disk performance. It allows us to get a general view of performance whilst at a high load. The B-Link GTI 10 scores 2423, which is in the area for similar devices of this specification. Overall, it scores very well in all six areas. PCMark benchmarks the more day-to-day -day usage of a PC, such as video conferencing, 
web browsing, using office documents, graphics editing, video decoding and much more. The final score of 3418 is again comparable with other PCs of this specification. It is great for your day-to-day -day tasks, whether it be at home or in the office. 3D Mark benchmarks the graphics performance and as always graphics is not just for games. It is used for web page rendering, video decoding and encoding and much more. The score of 466 is again in the area of similar specification devices. It is a good graphics processor, suitable for many tasks including some like gaming. Discmark benchmarks the performance of the M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD read and write speeds in four different ways. This gives us a more detailed view of how it performs and what the read and write speeds are. The read score of 1712 megs a second and write speeds of 1466 megs a second are great. This ensures that from booting up Windows, loading software and accessing large files will all be fast. With the Wi-Fi 6 found on this device, we can be sure of a fast and reliable wireless connection. We run speed test over Wi-Fi connected to the router which is on the other side of the room. We got download and upload speeds of 311 and 291 megs a second respectively. Wi-Fi 6 is great and we expected no less. The 1 gig wired Ethernet connected to our NAS works just fine with constant full speed data transfer. It simply works great. For this test we are using Streets of Rage 4 running at ultra settings at 1080p. As you can see the performance is very good running at 60 frames per second with a few dips down to 59. This is in line with PCs of similar specifications when compared to other devices which dip down to 30 frames per second, the GTI 10 is very good for light gaming. The Minis Forum GTI 10 is a very capable mini PC with a high performance 10th generation Intel processor, a great amount of RAM and fast SSD storage. Combined together it gives you a fast and reliable mini PC which can easily handle your day-to-day -day tasks from home or the office. That wraps up this unboxing and demo video. We hope you have found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to keep up to date on future videos and products. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.